Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. Today's topic we got is it's better to be rich than to look rich. So this is another one near and dear to my heart. So, Because uh, <laughs> I'm a perfect, perfect, or we're both perfect examples of where we do not look rich. All the, the Jordan sneaking wear, sneaker wearing, Lambo driving, Rolex wearing, what else they do? What else they do? Buying overly big houses or just buying overly big houses. Always spending their checks on high end restaurants. Yeah. Um, they they're gonna hate this video. And the reason why it's near to dear to me, I let Alex speak for herself, is I used to be one of those people that thought that, oh, my goal was to make people believe that I was rich. Maybe it was a family curse that made me think that um, just some genes that was passed down to me that I shouldn't accept it. But either way, I used to be that person. I used to think that, oh, if I had the latest, if I had the biggest, you know, if I was going to the fanciest stuff, then people would be like, oh, he got money. And they did you know, the ignorant, the people that didn't know no better did say, oh, man, he must got money. But the truth of the matter is, after I got all that praise and accolades from those people, I had to go home and look at my maxed out credit cards. I had to go look at my zero bank balance uh, bank account. I had to see the bills stacking up on the table. And that's what I did. And I did it for years. It ain't just for a weekend. It was <laughs> for a weekend. But people go and live their whole lives like this. Their whole lives trying to act like they have money when they don't. But I'll let, let you come in and then we can talk about it some more. Go ahead. What's, so what's your feelings on that? I don't know if I hang around enough people to, to see too many people with all the bougie. Like, I, I really don't see a lot of people with, like, a whole bunch of, like, super uh nice name brand clothing and stuff but i see people with like cars that they can't afford where they just think that oh that's just what you're supposed to do you buy a newer car you pay a car payment and that's just normal um and it'll be like like honestly to me something that's anything that's 2012 and up like <laughs> that's like expensive to me <laughs> Um, he said 2012 he ain't say 2021 yeah, 20, 2012 and up i think that's like newer that's that's how i view it like like i have a car that's 2013 and i'm like oh man it's got a screen <laughs> so, to me, <laughs> so to me like when like when i talk to most people a lot of people they the majority of people it seems like just have a newer car like anything that's from like 2018 to now like and um they have like a luxury apartment or they have a house or whatever and like all these accumulated bills with the car that they can't afford and then they'll have like different monthly expenses that go towards entertainment and all this stuff and they want to have money they want to save money they want to invest but they're not willing to get rid of these things and so maybe they don't they're not out there trying to be like wearing Gucci or different name brand clothing, so all this jewelry and stuff. Although I do know some people that do that, but they don't realize what they're using or what they're, what they're uh, like the cars that they're driving, the clothes that they have, and everything. Like, yeah, like it's, this. it's, and now, mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. What I'm saying, is, and I know I'm cutting you off in the middle of your segment of why, why I wasn't it. But it's a learned habit. It's it's a learned habit. The only reason why they're doing it is because they've seen people before them do it. Right, right, right. And it's, I, I don't want to go biblical, but it's worse than a curse. It's worse than a curse. But I'm sorry. I just wanted to no. throw no. it out there. Because when, when you said you don't think that they realize. No, I know they don't realize. No, you're 100% right. Yeah, they yeah. don't realize. No, and that's yeah. the, that's the, funny thing like for me to see because like I said like I grew up in a family like that like my mom 
uh, you know, she's like that. She's the type to uh, work hard so you can buy stuff you like. I was the only one that was like, I'm okay to look like a homeless person. Like I'll drive a 2007 Honda Civic and I'll just save all my money and then I'll invest it. And for years, my family was like, why don't you buy something nice? So like, I didn't see any of that. I didn't see anyone in my family to be like, hey, you have to look like you're poor to actually become rich or act like you're poor to become rich. And so it was just like something that I was like, this is the only way I can actually, because at the time I wasn't making a lot of money. I was like, the only way I can have money is if I cut down on my expenses. And so that's, that's where like, I feel like anyone has the ability to just switch that, even though you're taught that growing up, because I was taught it growing up. Um, but I mean, and if you think about it, like, a lot of the norm stuff today is luxury. And Dave Ramsey talks about this, like I was saying. He talks about the cars today, how they have moon roofs, they have screens, they have reclining, you know, you can power uh power reclining seats like in the in the car, like you can move with heated seats, heating steering wheel, like these are luxury features, but they're now in almost every vehicle. So it's like become normalized. And people mm -hmm. take all that stuff for granted, not realizing that they're paying for luxury things, but they don't have the income to afford a luxury lifestyle. And, mm -hmm. and then and then if you think about it, it's it's you go buy it. You go buy it, then you run to your broke friend and oh, look what I got. Look what I just caught. So your friend can be jealous of something that you got because you bought something that they can't afford. And so that makes you feel like you have money because your friend couldn't afford it. Way to go, guys. Right. Way to go. But this is this society we live in is it was worse than when I grew up because this society is based on attention. It's based on how many followers you have, how many likes on a post. Uh I don't know what it is on Instagram, what they call it on Instagram and Snapchat and and face slapped and whatever the other stuff's called. But that's what it is. And I mean, I literally know people that rent, you know, rent Lamborghinis, rent expensive cars just so people could think that they have money. And I mean they close to they close to nothing. I mean, only only saving grace is they're still living with their parents. I mean, you see it, you see it in the the dating cycle that's going out here. Um, guys to impress girls, they gotta act like they have money. You know, the first date, you gotta act like you have money to so the first date is super expensive, five, ten star restaurant. Uh, but you gotta act like they have money to impress the girl, so the girl will think they have money. But really, the joke's on the man. If you start out at five star, that's the baseline. You gotta go improve from there. So where are you gonna where are you gonna take him at next time you you get paid? It's only it only can be the baseline. And of course, you can spend your whole paycheck to try to impress. And then what you gonna do after you take it on two or three days? Hey, look, I really ain't got it. I was just doing it to impress you. No. That's what they that's what they do. And it's and it's amazing. You instead of just being your true self, and I know guys probably gonna barbecue me saying, Oh, old oh man, you don't know what you're talking about. I, I probably don't. But if you just be your true self, I mean, if you you know make ninety thousand dollars a year and you can afford, you know. To go out for expensive date, more power to you. You know, 90, 100, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what these people be making. But if you making twenty, thirty thousand dollars, you shouldn't be at Benny Honda. You shouldn't be at, you know, Ichikuru. You shouldn't be at Texas Davis. You just shouldn't be there. You're not making enough money to to function. To you should be working on collecting all your shekels that you got from your paycheck and finding a way to multiply your income and keep doing that over and over and over again. But you go out there and spend the money, then you just meet the person. So this is the baseline the expectation. And I've seen this many times. So you go to this high-end restaurant 
And then on the first date, that's the baseline uh, that the woman is expecting. And then you keep spending it. But unbeknownst to the, the person that you're going on these dates with, you're spending almost your whole paycheck to impress her. So light bills, if you live in by yourself, bills are going uh, forgot about just so you can live this purpose. And then when she find when she finds out that you really don't have it like that, then the relationship starts to deteriorate. Why waste your time? And most guys, they probably don't even realize that's when your relationship started to deteriorate when she realized you really didn't have the money. So. We talked about this in another video. I mentioned, like, I believe everything that you spend that isn't a necessity is a luxury. Like, and, like, I remember I broke it down. Like, if you go to McDonald's, it's a luxury. Like, you know, you have to, if you really want to be successful, and I and I tell people this, like, because, you know, you have people that are like, oh, I don't want to be rich. Like, I just, like, okay. <laughs> like, but the thing is, if if your goal, if you're seeing people that are actually successful and your goal is to be like them, your goal is to have investments, uh, you want to be an entrepreneur, an investor, whatever, you want to be wealthy and successful. If that's your goal, you have to make the sacrifices. You just have to. It's it's not going to just, there's no easier formula to getting around it or where you can be blowing your money on luxury things and then at the same time investing for your future. You save your money on luxury things. You use that money to invest it. And then in the future, when you have money, you can go back and, you know, live like no one else lives, you know. But you have to be willing to make that sacrifice. And I rarely see anybody that uh, can do that because it's just it's so normalized in society. It's so normalized to stop by a Wendy's or a McDonald's or whatever, grab food or, <laughs> or um, go to a restaurant. You know, every Saturday people going out to eat or on on like or on a Sunday, a Friday night, something like that, going out to eat, you know? So <laughs> he eats out every day. <laughs> right? so, <laughs> three times a day, every day. That's crazy. So, but, you know, mm. people, uh, it, it's just so normalized in society. And people, like we talk about all the time, you have to deprogram what you've been taught your whole life and then reprogram yourself what you said was was key i mean I, I i like the fact that you brought up like he go out all the time people this is the funny one the people they call me a hypocrite i mean i've been called a hypocrite before because i tell people they need to start saving and then i'm like you need to stop doing all this stuff and you need to start saving to and you need to start working on building your income higher and then I will go out and eat. And then they will try to spit. They will try to spit the same thing I said to them. Oh, what about what about living on less than you make? I said, oh, you don't get it? I do live on less than I make. We had two different levels in life. I've been doing this for 10, 15 years. You're just starting today. This stuff costs way less than I make. But that that's one of them that they, they say, oh, well, you, you, can't, you can't say that. No. I mean, literally, people, when I say I'd rather be rich then look like i'm rich this is and y'all can't see me but i you know t-shirt and shorts this is my everyday attire when i say every day i mean every day funerals thanksgiving christmas holidays birthdays weddings this is it that's it Dude, this is a funerals was the first one <laughs> Funeral. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this is all you get from me. And I don't care. I mean, I mean, I it's funny. I feel more at home like this. And I don't I don't need the people to know, hey, he got it or he don't got it. What what benefit that don't benefit me none? Just because people think I have it because I walk down the street or I drive a certain car, that don't put extra money in my pocket. I mean if somebody's, you know, into all that, but what I do is going to put more money in my pocket, not what I'm wearing and what I have on.
And but I'm not from a society that you know followers and stuff is makes me who I am. It's so that's that's the crazy part about it. It's it's crazy world we live in. Crazy world we live in. The funeral was well first one. I want to stress how serious I am about this. I'm just shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> well, guys, with all that being said, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.